Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining me for Hope City 7 at 7. Uh, just wish you a happy Resurrection Sunday. Um, anyway, it was a great day for us, great day at our church. We also had our launch day, so that was super exciting. Um, but what a, what a great way to celebrate Jesus today. So, anyway, our... Um, uh-oh. Our... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Our sermon series was called uh, something like This Changes Everything. Sorry, I lost my paper and I didn't realize that before I started. But anyway, it's called This Changes Everything. Um, there were several things that uh, Pastor John talked about today that really um, kind of touched me and got my attention. So I just wanted to share it with you and see if I can share it with you in a super practical way. So that's why we're looking a little bit sideways and different tonight. Um, but I'm going to read from the Bible in Luke 24 to start us out with. Um, and this is after Jesus has died. He's been in the tomb. And uh, this is the third day. And that's when he rose. Okay. And basically back in Luke 23, it talks about uh, that there were women who had come with him from Galilee. They followed after and they were preparing spices and all that stuff for his body. I don't know, you know, historically everything they did for bodies back then, but I do know they did spices and, and wrapped the bodies and did all sorts of things. So they were getting that ready. So in other words, they have lost hope that Jesus was the Messiah. So in Luke 24, it says, but on the first day of the week at early dawn, the women went to the tomb, taking the spices which they had made ready, and they found the, stole, the stone rolled back from the tomb. But when they went inside, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. And while they were perplexed and wondering what to do about this, behold, two men in dazzling raiment suddenly stood beside them. So, in other words, angels. And as the women were frightened and were bowing their face to the ground, the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among those who are dead? He is not here, but he has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee, that, son of, that the Son of Man must be given over into the hands of sinful men uh, and be crucified, and on the third day rise from death. And they remembered his words. Okay. So everybody is, you know, all this has happened and everybody is totally focused on, well, he's dead. And they've almost forgotten what he said. And, um, you know, there's something, and I'll show you how this fits together in a minute. There's something that Pastor John said this morning uh, that really caught my attention and in relation to this. He said uh, something about having an elevated position. And when you have an elevated position in battle, like there was somebody assigned to have an ele a literal elevated position so that they could see everything. They could see what the battle was looking like. Okay? So keep that in mind. We're going to do something a little bit different. Hang on here. So when our perspective is not elevated, this is kind of what our problems look like. We're focused on the problem. And then all of these little thoughts and worries and all of that stuff start to settle in our mind and settle in our heart. And just like what these ladies, I'm sure, were going through, well, I guess what God said wasn't true, or I guess what Jesus said wasn't true. Maybe he really wasn't the Messiah. Um, we messed up. We've got to prepare, start preparing the body. We've got to start getting the spices ready and everything. And we really can't see a way out of this. And they were totally just, you know, focused on that problem. But what happens is when our perspective starts to elevate, we start to be able to see other things. And maybe if you're focused on a problem or whatever, just life in general, you start getting to know about God. Hmm, that's interesting. I've not heard of that before. Or you finally start believing maybe God could be real. And if you notice, as my perspective has elevated, some of those other little thoughts are a little bit harder to see. I'm getting to know about God. Okay, he seems pretty good maybe. Let's see. And I start okay, let's give this a shot. I'm going to start praying for other people or even start praying for myself. 
My perspective is elevating, and look what's getting smaller. Problems getting smaller, and all of the other junk is getting smaller. So, I'm going to roll with that. As my perspective starts elevating, oh look, there's a solution. I'm not so focused on the problem. I'm getting to know more about God. And seeing that He is good, that His promises are true. And look what I can't even read anymore. All of those little yucky thoughts and feelings that used to be a huge part of my life. Can't even see them anymore. And so my perspective is elevating. Well, I don't want to just get to know about God. I want to start getting to know God. Who He really is. I want to talk to Him. I don't want to just read about Him or whatever. I'm going to get to know him. And as I get to know him, he has patience with me. So I think I'm going to try having patience with other people. I'm going to have patience with this, you know, who, whoever, insert name. And guess what? I start having patience with that person. The solution's connected to that because it actually had everything to do with me and not anything to do with that other person and everything to do with me getting to getting to know God and getting connected with him and I'm starting to get to know him more and more oh I'm gonna start loving people I'm gonna I'm gonna show love to this person even though they were not nice to me or whatever and I'm gonna start helping this other person or that same person or whatever and therein lies the solution because it wasn't really about them it was about me and my relationship with God. And look what's even smaller down there as my perspective is starting to elevate. And we're going to go up one more level. My perspective is elevating even more. And I'm getting to know God. I'm having all these solutions. I'm doing all these things, acting like Him because I'm getting to know how He is and how He truly loves me. And then finally, I'm spending time with God the Father because I've gotten to know Him. I've gotten to know how good He is and that He really is my Father, like the best dad I could ever imagine. And when I'm focused on spending time with Him, guess what? I'm not even worried about all these problems or solutions or anything anymore. I'm concerned with spending time with God the Father. And guess what? I... (laughs) (laughs) I'm not worried about any of that anymore. All I'm concerned with is spending time with him and becoming more like him. All of those other things start to fade away. That's the difference between that perspective, a low perspective, and an elevated perspective. And it's not an elevated perspective as in, Uh, you know, better than you or any of that sort of thing. It's just God's perspective and learning how he thinks about us and his perspective uh, on us is elevated. He loves us and he thinks we're pretty awesome. So anyway, I hope this has helped you tonight uh, to kind of show how you distance yourself from some of that and how much an elevated perspective uh, can change things in your life. Love y'all. Have a great evening.